A very funny person, possibly the funniest amateur comic in the entire Bay Area. Big hand for Elmo Nutcase. Hi, I've been hearing more and more lately about people having sex in the back of cabs, and I can't get the idea out of my head, so I finally decided to try it for myself. It was amazing. There was just something about being driven through the dark night of the city, folded into that intimate space in the back of the cab, with all this wonderful touching and fondling, moving on to the intense act, and then the climax with screaming! I think it might have been even better if my date had shown up. <laughs> Not long ago, they held the annual Porn Movie Awards, and I don't know if you've heard about this, but for the first time in the history of the awards, the Best Porn Actor Award went to a disabled actor. Yes, affirmative action has come to the porn world. This amazing, talented actor has no arms, no legs, no head, and no torso. I hear his friends call him Dick. <laughs> when I was growing up, my sister was known as the town slut. Why do you like these things always happen to me? That was so humiliating. It was so difficult to deal with. And it's even worse than it sounds. My hometown is New York City. <laughs> the geneticists have been making progress on that vast human genome project they're working on. They just made a breakthrough. They found the single gene that is responsible for all aggressive behavior in human beings. And when they spotted the aggressive behavior gene, it was bitch slapping the shyness gene. I once dated a woman who had a serious disability. She had no arms and no legs, though she did have a head to the torso. And I know that sounds like a very serious disability to go through life with, but it had some really positive aspects. She saved a ton of money on underarm deodorant and foot powder. Um, recently, psychologists have come out with a proposal. They say homosexuality is not a mental disease. They long ago turned their back on trying to say it was a mental disease. But they are proposing there be a new term for gay men, which is that they be called, that they be called ambulance guys. And the gay community is in uproar, saying that's a demeaning, insulting term. But the psychologists insist there are sound scientific re reasons for the name, which is that gay men should be called ambulance guys because they get loaded from the rear and then they go, woo, woo, woo! <laughs> I had sex in a whole new way, a revolutionary new way last night. Maybe you've heard about this. This new trend is called Sex Mafia Style. I whacked myself. Uh, as we all know, Jesus was a good Jewish boy, and so naturally, as a good Jewish boy, he was circumcised. And for the most part, the procedure went completely normally. But then this amazing, glorious miracle happened afterwards. On the third day, his foreskin rose again out of the trash. Thank you, I'm Elmo Nutcase. Elmo Nutcase. And you think you might consider taking a stage name, don't you? Uh, 